Well, he's an NBL champion, Aussie boomer, and the newest member of the mighty Phoenix Suns, the big fella, Jock Landale. Jock, good to see you, mate. You too, mate. You what on? brings you to Summer League? Uh, well, here to, here, here to kind of meet the new team, get to know the guys a little, meet the front office. And then there's a lot of Aussie boys out here I played with, played against, so just trying to get around them, support them, um, you know, soak up the atmosphere. So there's a lot going on. Yeah, you're in a Thomas Mack before, watching Duop. He got hurt, unfortunately. Yeah. Late buckets for JLA and DJ. Then you're in here watching Travis and Jack White. Do you remember a couple of years ago when it was just you and Creaky? It's kind of crazy being back here and, uh, and being immersed in this and just kind of having all those, uh, those old memories kind of flash back. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a bloodbath here and it's, it, is, it is tough to, uh, to, to catch a rhythm, but it's, if anything, it just kind of a, it's an experience you use to learn from and grow from. And I think there's a lot of value in it for anyone who comes out here and, and plays in this. Uh, even if it's not necessarily minutes, it's, you know, it's the emotional size, uh, it's the maturity of it all. So um, I think these guys are doing themselves a lot of favours right now by, by kidding up and some of them, you know, aren't necessarily playing a whole lot but uh, it's still early stages, so they'll be all right. The learning experience is an interesting one because the difference for you from your time here with Atlanta and then your time here with Milwaukee was vast. And I think that, that time here, that two weeks with the Bucks was a huge kind of uh, moment, I think, in your career. Um, tough for those guys that are here for the very first time. For sure. Uh, you know, my first experience was pretty much non-existent. I, I didn't really touch the court a whole lot. Uh, and then my second one, as you said, kind of gave me uh, like the confidence boost I needed going into that World Cup, which I would say, you know, was a big part of defining my, my future and career. So um, it, it's it, it's it's tough. You know, you, you got to be you got to be stable. You got to be steady headed as you kind of go through this because you never know when your number's going to be called. And it, it is a cliche, but it's also the truth. So um, I've experienced both sides of that, uh, and. Both experiences, I would say, kind of put me in the best position possible going forward. Um, you know, so like no regrets coming out of that first one with Atlanta because it got me to Serbia and Serbia set up Lithuania, and you know it just kind of carries over. So, um, yeah, it's it's an experience where you're in front of a lot of eyes worldwide, uh, and there are opportunities galore. It's half time of that Nuggets Cavs game right now. You got a championship teammate running around out there. How do you think Whitey looks? He looks great, man. I think he's he's still catching his uh, feet a little bit, but all the shots that he takes, the ways he, uh, the ways in which he affects the game, um, like it's all it's all good signs. And I think that if if a team's looking for a glue guy who can kind of um, you know do the little things and lead a team, like I'm just watching him out there, even in an environment where he's only been in for four days and he's leading guys, he's pulling dudes into huddles, and and that's a rare trait to have. So. That on top of, you know, the kids can jump through the roof, he's athletic, he can defend. I think the last play they tried to flatten him out and he got a stop. So, um, you know, he just does all those things so well. I think, you know, playing with a new ball is a factor. He hasn't had a whole lot of time with that ball in his hands. And um, I think that, you know, as, as the tournament keeps going on and he gets some more, some more touches and more experience, uh, he'll, he'll start knocking down those threes and he'll kind of catch his rhythm offensively. But he's doing everything else great. I thought he was taken off from the free throw line there for a sec. I thought he was going to as well. I turned to Sammy and said he should, he should have dunked that thing. But uh, there was another one where he cut baseline and lost the ball. So there's, there's those little things where you see maybe there's a little bit of nerves involved. But um, he'll, he'll iron himself out. And I'm sure the second half will be a different story. Hey, let's you talk about the boomers. Delhi. Report from Dave McMenamin yesterday, working out with the Sacramento Kings. Yeah, man, I, I, we had dinner last night. Actually, all the Boomers lads got together last night and had a dinner, so it was really good to see them all. Uh, I played with them a bunch during uh, during you know that six weeks period leading up to here. Uh, we were back at St Mary's working out together and working out with the St Mary's guys, which is good to get back on that that turf there because they put together a great summer routine. It's ridiculous out there, and Delhi, I thought, really fed off that well, like. I'm not sure I've seen him look better than he has in those six weeks. Like his shot was looking great. Uh, he he was healthy. He wasn't uh, he wasn't hobbling uh, around. So he looked sharp, and I'm really happy for him. Uh, I think that you know he said that the the workouts have been going well, and uh, you know just like Jack White, he brings a level of maturity and leadership and you know that kind of pedigree to to any team he's on. So um, I think for him it'll be only good things, and and hopefully he gets that gig.
I've got to give my wife a quick shout out because we were sitting there in the stands for that first game of the previous window with the Boomers yeah. against China. And when it got close, she said, you know what? Delhi is a point guard I'd want to go to war with. 100%. I mean, that guy's as tough as they come. Uh, you know, he does all the little things right. He, he, he leads guys when even when they don't want to be led. So um, he's a special character and he's really honed that craft throughout his career. And I'm, I'm happy to see him doing what he's doing right now because, you know, he put together a good year in Australia and I think he's, he's on an upward tra trajectory again. And I think he's going he's gonna to put himself in a really good spot this year. Last question.